Hi, I'm Laura Ray and welcome to my live stream. Tonight we're going to talk about the best products for wrinkles. These are products that I use all the time that I'm loving. And so I'd like to welcome everybody here. Let's jump in with sunscreen. I get so many questions about sunscreen being that I live in Florida. I've grown up in Florida. I've lived here my entire life. So I've been using sunscreen since what, the 80s, early 90s, since it came out. And so I have a couple of suggestions for products that I'm loving right now. Just to let you know, as far as my skin type, I have normal skin right now. I would say combination. I'm still very oily in the T-zone. I have go through times when my skin is dry, depending on the weather. But right now it's very humid here. The temperatures are climbing. It's it's mostly in the 70s. We're headed towards the 80s this month. And so I need to have a good sunscreen that's not going to break out my sensitive skin. I also have very sensitive skin. So I have two. One costs a little more money and the other one is drugstore price. So let's start with high end. I am loving this from La Roche Posay. I purchased this. It's their 50 tinted mineral. I had heard so many people talk highly about this and what I wanted it for really is because it's mineral and it's tinted. And I have a great history with La Roche Posay. They helped me out so much when I had rosacea. So I feel like I owe so much to that brand for what they did for my skin. They've turned my daughter's skin around. So this is a company I really love and this did not uh, fail me. It was amazing. I love the tint to it when I head out to the beach. I like this because then I just don't even wear foundation. I just put this on my skin and I'm good to go. So I'm loving this. And this is the first time I've tried this. I've heard again so much about it. So I was curious and I'm really happy with it. So let's talk about a drugstore priced sunscreen I'm happy with. This also has a tint and it's the CeraVe. They're hydrating mineral sunscreen. Now this is a 30 and this is a 50. So if you want a little bit more protection, I like this. If I think I'm going to be out a little longer, I'll put this on. But really most dermatologists will say a 30 is sufficient. And this has a sheer tint. It is lightweight, like they say. It's not greasy. Neither one of these are greasy. They work well under my makeup. But I love having that extra tint. And what I do is I use these most days in place of a primer. And if I put these on with my skin being a little more oily these days, I often won't use a moisturizer either. So that will serve as my moisturizer, my sunscreen, and my primer, all three. Welcome to Penelope. She's here all the way from Quebec. I can't speak tonight. And Melody, so happy you're here. And Sandy, she says she needs one that doesn't burn her eyes and not oily. I don't have any eye burning with either one of these. Uh, I've been really happy with that. So those are my two go-to sunscreens that I'm using right now, the CeraVe and the La Roche-Posay. And both of them I think are equally great. I feel like I get more uh, coverage of my pigmentation with the La Roche-Posay that the color is a little more intense than the CeraVe. But there's quite a price difference and I enjoy them both. So let's move on to some more skincare and then we'll get into the makeup. So for my fine lines, a few months ago, I guess it's been maybe three months ago now, May Love contacted me. I had wanted to use their products. I had heard a lot of good things about them and they offered to send me a few things to try. And I did and I love them. So I purchased some from them myself because there were additional products in their line that sounded really good to me. So I also placed an order. But I wanted to talk about 
two of the products they sent me that I'm more than happy to repurchase on my own and one that I did purchase on my own. First of all, I didn't know if I could use this. They sent it to me and it's their super smooth resurfacing serum. I needed some resurfacing, not only fine lines, but my pores. I have enlarged pores in the cheek area, close to the nose around here, and some on the sides of my nose. And I had not used any kind of AHA, BHA product in a long time. I used to use one from Paula's Choice, a BHA, and it really did help my pores look and appear smaller, I guess, because it was getting all the gunk out and really getting them clean. But I had a lot of success with that, but then my skin got so sensitive, I was very concerned about it. But this worked great. And this, they say to use at first, I tried it out at one night, I skipped a couple nights, I tried it again, and what I found was it wasn't causing me any redness or anything, and my skin did look so much smoother. So I'm about, let's see, halfway through this bottle now, and I'm loving the way my skin is looking from it. So now I've stepped it up, I use it around every other night, I get no burning, I get no problems from it, and my skin is definitely feeling smoother and looking smoother. Now, I had started on a retinaldehyde in, um, a while back with another product from Aven, and I was very happy with it. I don't do well on Retin-A. I've used, I've talked about this before, I've used it throughout my life for acne. But what happens despite mixing it with moisturizers, doing all the tricks that the dermatologist said to do, and being under the care of a dermatologist, my skin just doesn't like it. It constantly is inflamed. Uh, flaking and it's just very frustrating. So retinaldehyde is just sort of a step below that and I thought maybe if I don't go so hard with it I can get better looking skin. So I started on the event that I purchased and I really loved it but then Maylove has their product called the Moonlight Serum. It's a retinol super serum and it is awesome. It's really a cool product because it comes out like neon, isn't that neat? And it gets a little neon on your skin, which I actually like because I can see that I've applied it properly. I can see areas I'm missing. And I am just so in love with this. What I've noticed is fine lines on my forehead are much less diminished. They're diminished from what they once were. Uh, even a line I have in the middle between my brows is a little smoother. And like I said, I've used about a half a bottle on the products that they've sent me so far. And any dermatologist will tell you, give this product six months, give it a year. So I'm only a couple of months into this, but right away I noticed results which I don't always notice with products. So I was very impressed and in love with them. So those are two of my go-tos for wrinkles right now is using the AHA BHA serum in conjunction with the retinaldehyde, the Moonlight Serum. So the product I ordered from them, they have just recently come out with an eye cream. It's called the Eye Enhancer Ultimate Eye Cream. And I wanted to see how this would do for my skin. Now this, the eye cream, let me see. I've taken a couple of notes here I want to look at. And um, the eye enhancer, the whole thing about this is to improve the texture around the eye. It has a little bit of radiance to it. It has peptides, niacinamide, uh, and also caffeine which I really love the caffeine for the morning time when my eyes sometimes from allergies and things going on seasonally might be a little bit puffy. So I've talked about coffee, uh, uh, coffee bean oil and coffee cream so many times. I've been using something with caffeine for a long time under my eyes and it gives me good results. So, so far I love this. I feel like it was a great purchase and I'll give you updates as I finish the tube and I'm on it longer, but I really like it. It does come out, I'm gonna put this on my glass 
palette so you can see it it comes out like a nude a nude shade there you go a nude shade to it and it has a little bit of luminosity to it it spreads well it is a gel I like gels it you know just feels very nice under the eyes so I put this on really in the morning more so than night but you can I believe that's one that you can use twice a day most of their products say to use them twice a day and um, that's about it for the May Love. I really enjoy everything so far. It's very reasonably priced compared with other products that are made for wrinkles. If you go and look, I'm seeing now, even at the drugstore, I saw a price on Olay, and this is getting into the $30, $40 price mark. So products that we used to think of as pretty inexpensive that we could just dart to the drugstore and grab, I find myself scrutinizing so much more in my purchases, looking at the ingredients, really seeing if it's something that's going to step my game up, if it's going to help, if it's worth it, even before I try it for, to review for my channel. I really go through reviews and screen these things because even Olay now is getting really expensive. So I want to say a welcome to everyone, to Penelope, Melody, welcome, Sandy, Alisa, Tammy, we're glad you're here. Ronnie, Tricia, we've got Analyzing My Life, a faithful viewer. Nancy, uh, NCR lives forever. Well, welcome. And Debbie, we're so glad you're here and talking all about wrinkles. One product that I think will just always be in my stash is the Be Naturals. I've talked about this many times, and most products tonight I'm going to share with you are fairly new, or I'm giving you some updates on things that were new recently. But I recently had an eye problem, which is why I wasn't at the live stream a couple of weeks ago. And the lids on my eyes, as a result of what happened, were so dried out and this saved my life again so many times i've used this it looks like it's vaseline but it's not there's several different types of oils in it i know there's avocado oil uh, let's see sunflower oil organic beeswax uh, there's also coconut oil in it and rosemary extract and carrot seed essential oil. So there's a lot in here that really hydrates my under eyes. This saved me. My lids got so dry. And so I just rubbed right in this and tapped it right on the lids and the dryness went away within a day. So that's happened before when I've tried um, eyeshadows that maybe I had a reaction to on my lid. I've had reactions to primers. A lot of drugstore eyeshadow primers I can't wear anymore. I'll put them on and my eye will go into a prune. My lids will be smooth and then within a minute their turn shrink up and feel so uncomfortable. So I don't know if any of you have had reactions to any primers or eyeshadows before, but I have. And so I'm really picky now on about the primers that I put on my lids because I don't want to go through all that mess. But this helps so much. I've repurchased this numerous times. Now let me tell you a couple of other great uses for this. One is around the lips. I feel that it really helped me with lip lines, the vertical lines that get just beneath the lip and above the lip. And so I will take this and just sort of rub it into those lip lines. I just think that's an area of your face that we don't think about getting super dry, but it does. So I have used it for that before. I've used it as an under eye cream. Again, this is something I put on my lids when I suffered a reaction. So um, it's just a multitasker. And the other thing is your cuticles. My cuticles get so dry from touching so many papers at school and file folders and things. So my cuticles will really dry out. And you can just take some of that, rub it into your cuticles. So it's just one of those products like keeping 
uh, things in your pantry that you use all the time. Uh, this is always one of the things that's in my stash. So I want to look at the comments for a minute. Uh, I see that uh, Debbie says, I like the May Love Moonlight Serum. Olay at Costco runs good sales. That's always great to know. I'm not a Costco shopper only because I don't have one too close by, but that's fantastic. And uh, Ronnie says, that's so true. Olay has some creams over 40. I saw one of them. I don't know if it's the new collagen cream. I had purchased that at one time. I saw it for $44 the other day. I was like, oh my gosh, what is happening? That's incredible. So drugstore uh, moisturizer isn't always so inexpensive anymore. So I think we need to be um, a little more careful with our purchases. That's what I'm trying to do when I share things with you is that I really scrutinize these things. That's why a lot of the products I'll try for a couple of months before I'll ever speak about them. And that might put me a little behind compared with other um, creators that talk about products when they come out. But I just want to be certain I'm really happy with it before I suggest anything to all of you. So that's just sort of how I roll a little bit slower than most people. But Debbie says, I kind of gave up on primers. You can use my Kosas concealer for an eye primer. I think Debbie, as we get older and our lids get drier, um, concealer does work great on the lids. It never worked when I was younger and my lids were just an oil slick. But now as I've gotten older, I actually did that tonight and I'll show you what I put on my lids. But it wasn't an eye primer. I did use a concealer. And uh, Tricia says, I use my concealer as an eyeshadow primer too. That's great. Well, I'm going to finish up with the skincare portion and get into the makeup. I have a couple of newbies on the block that I want to share with you. Now, Amazon actually sent me this, and you've heard me talk about the SRB. That's the rice bran uh, powder that's like the Tatcha. It's great for exfoliating your skin daily. It's so gentle if you're worried about tears on your skin from heavier exfoliators then uh, the SRB, I find, is just as great as the Tatcha and so affordable. But this one is a little more than the SRB, but I really like it. Now, this has a whole different deal to it. It's a rose-scented product. So if you don't like scent, you're not going to like this. But this is, again, another one of the powders. I'll pour a little bit out on the glass palette so you can see it. Or let me just, it has a hole here where it comes out, the powder. But I'm going to unscrew it and put some in the lid so you can see, hopefully. But it's just a fine powder. And all you do is put this in the palm of your hand and add a little water. And if you like roses, it gives you very much a spa experience. I really like it my skin sensitive and this doesn't bother me at all it has like little hunks like of rose so as you're rubbing it on your skin you're just gently exfoliating so i like these powders for getting rid of the little bit of skin when i use the uh, moonlight serum i am getting some peeling it's very fine it's like baby fine skin coming off mostly on my forehead which the skin there is much thicker and I'm very happy that it's peeling. And so when I use one of these uh, exfoliators like SRB, it just takes that little slight peeling right off. So I'm really happy with that. And that's fun. I like things that give me that spa feel at home for a fairly affordable price. I think that runs around $25 and it will last me a very long time. I don't use it every night. I mostly use a very inexpensive cleanser on my face. But sometimes I do want that little bit of exfoliation. I'll sort of just look at my skin and just say, what do I need today? And if I see little bits of skin on my face, then I go in with something like that. So the other thing I wanted to share with you, now this is a balancing lip enhancement complex. I really like this. This I bought because I feel like as I'm getting older, my lips, there are more lines on the actual lip itself. 
and my lips aren't as smooth as I would like them to be. So I find that really moisturizing lip masks have made a real difference for me. You've heard me talk about the Beauty Hacks one. Well, this one was like loaded with peptides and it got so many great reviews on Amazon, I thought it was worth a try. The other thing I liked about it is they said it had peptides in it. I want to take a look at my notes for a second. I know it, they said it had peptides, niacinamide, and um, no, I'm sorry, that's for something else, but it was definitely peptides in it. And I just like the ingredients. And as I said, so many people gave it great reviews. And it's a brand I had never heard of. It's called Ormetic Balancing Lip Enhancement Complex. And so I like to put this on at night, in the morning. They say you can put it on multiple times a day. It has a slanted tube on it, just like a regular, uh, like if you were buying a, a lip product like Vaseline or something, it's on a slant. But this feels a lot different than Vaseline. You could wear it over your lipstick but I love how smooth it makes my lips feel. I actually used it tonight before I applied lipstick. I wiped it off. I let it sit for a while while I was putting my makeup on and then wiped it off and my lips just looked fuller and smooth. There's no burning to this, so it's not like lip plumpers that will burn your lips. It just really feels very comforting on the lips. So I think it was a great purchase for me. Now let's talk about makeup, our love here makeup. As far as foundation, I have tried a brand new BB cream, new to me. This is not new on the market. This product's been out a while and it's from Mally. That's what I'm wearing tonight. This is her BB cream face defender foundation actually is the name of it. And I just love it. It blends beautifully. It gives me great coverage. It's, you know, everything in her line, Mally is about my age, around my age bracket. She's in her 50s and our age bracket for those of you in your 50s. And I just um, love the way this goes on and looks. It's not so heavy. It just blends beautifully. I'm going to put it on the palette for you. Just I need just a minute to wipe this off. And I want to welcome, we have a few more people in the room. Hi, Glory B. And um, I'm so glad you're here. She said our live was suggested and she just happened to come along and see it. So Glory B TV, she has a great channel. I've known Glory B, geez, about eight years, I think. So this is the texture of it, almost like a little mousse and I'll blend it out for you, but look at how full coverage it is, but it has such a light whipped feel to it. So I've been using this now for over a month and I love it. I love the way it looks. Actually, I wore it to school today and when I came home, I always wash off all my makeup to get ready for the video tonight and have fresh makeup on, but I looked at my skin and I thought I could almost get by with not redoing my foundation because it still looked good and I put it on at five this morning. And so that really says a lot. I like Mally products. I'm wearing her shadows on my lids tonight. I just think her line is great for mature women. And I've talked about this. I'm back using the Poreless Face Defender. I think this is just so fantastic because you never have that powdered look to your face and it will hold your makeup on. It extends the wear of my makeup and makes my pores look a lot better and wrinkles. And that's what we're talking about tonight is wrinkles and makeup can really accentuate wrinkles. I've tried so many foundations where I go, oh my gosh, that really just brings out every line on my face. So with this, I don't have that. It's like I'm not wearing any product, but it also mattifies my face when it gets oily. It has been a lifesaver for my filming because right now I'm under very hot lights. 
And when I get under these hot lights, the makeup just starts melting and my face gets so shiny and oily. So I always put on the Mali before I do a video and that's really helped me a lot. So I'm really thrilled with it. Now I have a couple other foundations that I've used for a while that I want to share with you that I think really diminish the look of lines on my face. This is not new at all. It's been out quite a well, uh, while, but it's a very unique product, and that's the Neutrogena Hydra Boost. I've used this for over a year. It has a doe foot applicator here, a nice wand for applying, and this is like a gel. It's very unique. I just don't even know of any other formulas that I could tell you, oh, this is just like it, because it's sort of in a category itself. I hope Neutrogena never stops making it. They're pretty good about keeping their products around, which I'm very thankful about. I'm in the shade Soft Beige, which is number 50. Now, I wanted to mention the links for everything I'm talking about tonight are right beneath the video, just like they always are. And I so appreciate you shopping those links. That's what supports my channel. You are my sponsors of my channel. You have kept me going all these years, and I just appreciate it so much. And so another one that I had to share again, in case there is somebody new here, is from Ulta Beauty. This is their Youthful Glow Foundation Serum Drops. Now what I like about this, it's almost like you put a thin foundation and dropped jojoba oil in it, and this is already done for you. So when I use this, it spreads so beautifully. It lasts a whole day of work. When I come home, my skin doesn't look patchy or like a missing foundation. It wears beautifully. I can just apply this with my fingers. I put this on my glass palette and I'll blend it in and then I'll take a sponge just to smooth areas out. But this is very user friendly and definitely makes my lines look so much better. There's so much more diminished because this goes into the skin just like you are using something mixed with oil. So with this, I would say too, don't wear a primer. I do not wear a primer. I tried it with a primer and then the makeup did move around some. So that's why I like experimenting with primers, without. And with this one, I would strongly say don't use any primer, just go right in with the product. I think because it's already got the serum in it, it was just way too much oil for my skin, so that's why the foundation was moving around. But on its own, it's just perfect. And my shade in this is light to medium neutral. I find that for my skin, I have a lot of natural um, sort of a pink look to my skin. I always have. And so I find that with neutral, it diminishes that down and works really well. So I go with a neutral foundation now. It took me a while to figure that out. I used to always get like a cool foundation and I finally figured out that was not the right thing for me. I want to say welcome to Shirley. Hi, it's I'm so glad you're here, Shirley. And J.G. Hart, all the way from Canada. Uh, analyzing my life says, Emily Noel just used the Neutrogena Foundation recently. I've used them for so many years because I was an acne sufferer. I had acne since I was in the fifth grade. And I didn't stop having acne till I was 40. So I have dealt with skin a skin condition all of my life and been in and out of the dermatologist office all of my life and Neutrogena is one of those brands that they would recommend for me to use so I've used their product for a very long time now I want to talk about the under eye area that is the trickiest area for me I do have fine lines under the eyes and so I cannot put a heavy concealer under my eyes. I usually stop my foundation right around here and blend it. Uh, some, like the serum, I'll tell you what, you can save on concealer. For me, I don't have dark circles, but there is some darkness from my deep set eyes, just the angle that my eyes sit 
gives a little bit of darkness. But when I use the Ulta Beauty, I don't even use a concealer. I just run this right up under the eye and it gives me a really good look where I don't need concealer. But there are some foundations I just can't put under the eyes because they don't have the serum in them and they're too drying. So what I've been loving is from Milani, and this is just so fabulous and so inexpensive. It's their supercharged brightening under eye tint. Now it comes in two shades. The peach gives me much more of just a natural look. You can't tell there's any brightness under the eyes, but the pink rose is sort of like a liquid Becca. It doesn't give quite the brightness of the Becca, but it gives me a more natural, I think, brightness. I've used it tonight, and I just bring it like concealer under the eye. The nice thing about this, I'm gonna add it right here, is that you can see it's a little bit runny. It's not thick at all, and let me show you it sheared out but it has nice pigment to it. So I love putting this in the under eye area. It brightens me up, but not too much, not over the top. It looks really natural and it sinks into the skin. And I just take a little sponge or brush and brush over it once I've applied it. I usually rub it in with the warmth of my fingers. Of course, I'm washing my hands before I'm doing all of that, but I just go under the eyes and then I'll take one of my brushes and go and blend it out even a little more because I have very fine tiny creases in the under eye area and any makeup can collect there. So I try to put as little as I can get away with. And um, Sarah says, you have a nice voice. Oh my gosh, Sarah, thank you. This is what I call my teacher voice. Uh, my voice used to be a few, maybe an octave higher before my 28 years of teaching. <laughs> and um, Becky says, what's making me have polka dot pores? I use a primer and have tried different foundations. Some work better than others. Can you recommend the best to avoid that? I've had that too, Becky. I get that right here. And what I find is sometimes maybe let your products dry a little bit more. I notice for me, I'm always in a rush. When I wake up in the morning, I try to get up early enough to you know, do my makeup in a way that's relaxing, but it doesn't always happen. And so I might apply a product and put something right on top of it, and the product that I initially put wasn't fully dry. So one thing I could recommend is give yourself a little more time for your makeup, especially if you're putting on, say, a moisturizer first and then putting on your foundation. You wanna give that moisturizer maybe five, six minutes to dry. So maybe you wanna do your hair or go do an email or something. That's what I do. I sort of do other things or I straighten up my bathroom and clean things up while it's drying. And that really helps a lot. I find too, powder or like the more uh, Mali Poreless Face Defender will help with that too because some foundations I see uh, my pores showing up a little more and it looking like what you're describing. And I will take powder and just press it into the skin and it will smooth it out or the Mali. Now, another thing I will tell you is exfoliate. I notice when my skin gets like that, I'm not exfoliating. And once I do and get the pores, the gunk cleaned out better and really get it smoothed out, then my makeup applies very differently. Now, one I don't have with me to show you, but I've talked about before is the Mother Maid. And I'll put it after we're done with the live stream, I'll put it in my Amazon store so you can look at it. But the um, Mother Maid is a gommage. And what a gommage is, I first got introduced to this by a friend who's an esthetician. It goes on your face. 
sort of like a gel cream and you let it dry for a minute and you just start rolling and your skin it's not your skin rolling off it's the product but mixed in with it is your skin so it takes that surface level off of the skin and I did that before I came on and did my makeup tonight and came on camera because I noticed my pores were really standing out and I hadn't done that in a while and what I noticed is in the gamage itself if you have a lot of dead skin like I did tonight it goes from white to like tan and when I looked at what was left there I was like oh my gosh I really needed to do this normally I do it about twice a week but I've just been busy with moving and doing other things and I haven't been keeping up with that so that's a suggestion that I would have for you that's really helped me out a lot Penelope says she bought the paper keeper and it does get um, into your under eye I was worried about that and if it does get into your under eye, I was worried about that. I haven't had any issues with this because it is oils, but you know, everybody has to do what's right for them. I normally don't use it on my lids, but this was a special case where I was having a reaction to something and my lids were so dry, they were hurting me. And so I took some of that and just tapped a little bit right onto the lid and it all went away within a day so it really was wonderful for me um, so anyway let's get to another product for your cheeks that is great that will not show wrinkles and I have to tell you at first I did not like this product and when I don't like something then I really I set it aside and then try it again or try it a different way and the first time I applied this, this is from the L'Oreal Paradise line. It's a gel that is um, a blush. It's a tinted blush. When I first tried it, I tried it on my skin without any powder blush or anything else on. And I thought, mm, I don't know if it's really showing up or not. I just felt like it sort of sink, sunk right into my skin. So then what I did was I put on some blush and put this on top. And I was like, now you're talking. That looks beautiful. I really love it. And so that's my favorite way to use this. And that's what I've done tonight. I've put on some powder blush and then tap this on top. And a lot of makeup artists do that. They use these gels not on their own. They either do the gel first and put powder on top or the reverse like I did tonight. Put powder uh, first and the gel on top. But it is worth it. I really like it. I want to put this on a palette too so you can see, but it is I got all kinds of goodies. Next time I'll bring multiple palettes with me. But you can see here the pink and it really is almost like a transparent gel. Very different from other cream blushes or products that I have tried. And so I actually have fallen in love with it. I'm going to go get a couple more shades and I'll get back to you with those, how those work. But that's the L'Oreal Paradise. I love this line. Have any of you tried some of the L'Oreal Paradise? I would love to hear. I am crazy about the glosses I've been telling you about. I love the look of them. They look so expensive. Even the packaging is beautiful, but the look on the lips, it's like a balm that has color in it. So I've talked quite about a bit about those the last couple of videos, but this blush is amazing. Now I have two more, it looks like two more products I want to talk about tonight and then any questions that you have I would love to answer. And I see one here, do you use an AHA resurfacing toner too? Right now I'm not. I'm using the May Love that I talked about and I just feel like that's enough right now. I do have a toner like that in my collection but I wanted to see you know when you test things you have to think sort of like a scientist and take other things out of the mix to see what's working so if I use too many things at one time then I don't know what's really working 
and then I can't really share with you my opinion. So right now for the AHA, BHA, all I'm using is the May Love, the Super Smooth. But I have used those type of toners before with good results. Now, um, two things that I want to share with you. One's for the body. I wanted a cream that would really help my body with crepey skin. I'm finding in the last year or so, I finally finished menopause. The doctor says I'm officially done. And that was a year ago she told me that. So I've really been done with menopause maybe for a year and a half. And after that, I noticed more crepiness in my skin, mainly in this part of my arm, right around the elbow. I don't know if you all are having that issue or not, and you share with me those feelings, but there, and then also um, just in the underarm area around here, more loose skin. And so one of the dermatologists on actually a couple of channels that are dermatologists had recommended this from Versed. So I ordered this myself. It's their Firm Ground Retinol Body Lotion. I just keep this in the shower. So I take my shower, I get most of the water off, but I leave my skin damp, and then I put this on my arms, my chest, my legs. I just pretty much cover myself with it, but not on my face. And um, I'm really happy with this so far. Both dermatologists I heard talk about it said this has great ingredients that rival very expensive creams. So I trust their judgment with it. I'm not a dermatologist, so I have to just try things out and see if it will work for me. And this so far has been really good. I will stick with it. I'm only almost through with the first tube of it but I'm going to buy another one because I feel I got to give it even more of a go. But of course, part of the loose skin too, I'm trying to do more weight training. I use very light weight, so three pound dumbbells, one pound dumbbells, and do lots of repetitions. So I do different things. I do the T-tap workout I've talked about before, Teresa Tap. So I'm also trying to tighten the skin through fitness. But um, so far I've been very happy with that cream. And I see in the comments, Lorraine says she loves cream and liquid blush. I do too. I think it's perfect for us, especially those of us like me with fine lines and wrinkles around the eyes. This area is so close to the eyes that I find these creams just go in or uh, sink into the skin beautifully. Or I like powders that are very fine. So uh, Melody says, hey, join the club, Laura. That's exactly right. We're in the same club. All right. So one last thing I wanted to share with you, a primer that I feel works great. I talked about this in my dupes video. If you like silicone primers, for me, silicone primers work the best, better than just putting on something that's more of a moisturizer. I don't really need that. I have moisturizers that I like. Um, so I, I tend to go with something with dimethicone, a silicone primer that will fill in those pores. Again, I'm not putting this all over my face. I'm using it mainly in the T-zone. That's where I have pores from having uh, oily skin and acne all of those years. And so I really like this one. The dupe that I, uh, I tried to see if it was a dupe for... Uh, one of the more expensive ones from Smashbox, and I was really happy with this. It's so close in texture that I don't feel it's worth the price difference to pay more, unless that's in somebody's budget and they want to do that, but the difference between them is so minuscule that I'm really happy with this one. So, um, 
those are all the goodies that I brought to share with you tonight. I would love to see if you have any questions before uh, we head out tonight. I'm just so thankful for all of you that you came. Uh, it's so wonderful to have women that love makeup here to be friends with and share. Uh, it says, will there be a recording Due to a time zone, I won't be able to follow. Always, as soon as the video is done, it goes right onto YouTube, so you can refer back to it. And again, all of the links are be beneath the video uh, in the description section, just like they would be in any other video. So it's always there for you to go back and refer to, and um, that's wonderful. Uh, I really want to encourage you to watch the video on Saturday. I am maybe more excited about this video than many I've done. It is a dupe video, but for MAC products. I've always loved MAC. I remember when I first started on YouTube around eight years ago, I just thought MAC was just top dog and I hardly had any MAC products. And over the years, I've tried different things. For a while, I was using the MAC Foundation. Uh, it works so great for my skin. And so I really have always had a love of MAC because of their range of shades. They have so many shades. I'm actually wearing a MAC lipstick tonight. And I love how creamy they are. But let me tell you, I have amazing dupes for you. I have so many great dupes. I've been working on this video a long time to get it together. It's been a long time coming, so that's probably part of the excitement of it. But I'm really looking forward to you seeing it because it is just full of affordable products that dupe the Mac incredibly. So I hope you'll be there for that. One thing I wanted to say too that I forgot to say earlier about the May Love products, they are cruelty free, fragrance free, dye free. So that's part of why they're probably working so well for my skin because my skin is so over the top sensitive. And that's just happened, I really believe, from all of the years of using such harsh uh, skin care recommended by the doctor, but to control the acne. I've used benzoyl peroxide, 20% with sulfur in it, Retin-A. So I've had some very strong products that I wore every night for years. Uh, that kept me though, I have no scarring from all the acne that I had. The doctor says, it's like I'm a walking miracle that I don't have terrible scars from the acne. And so the medicine was great for that, but I think that could be partially why I'm so sensitive to things. But fortunately for me, uh, the May Love does not break my skin out. Now, it, they do only ship to the U.S. I did check into that. They're made in the U.S., and they only, at this time, ship to the U.S. And that was a question a couple of weeks ago. One of you asked me if they ship to Canada, but I did check that out. Hopefully in the future, they will because it's an excellent product. And I do love our little makeup club. I hope you all have a beautiful week. Uh, I want to say to all of you that are fans like me of Naomi Judd that love the Judd so much that we're all just heartbroken about what's happened this week and our thoughts are with her family and to all of the fans. The fans are amazing people who love her and I was one of them. I actually saw the Judds. They came to Fort Lauderdale and performed years ago in the 80s. My husband and I went to a concert and they were just absolutely amazing. And I know many of you have followed their story. I mean, what an incredible story of a single mom raising her children, you know, by herself and going from the jobs that the job she had as a nurse she was a nurse and then going and being a superstar a country singer and the songs that she wrote were just phenomenal uh, my favorite is love can build a bridge i love that song and so i'm thinking of her 
and all of her fans and her family this week and just keeping them in my thoughts and prayers. Well, I love you all. I hope you have a blessed and beautiful rest of your week. Thank you so much for coming here and being with me tonight. And I will see you very soon. Have a beautiful evening.